Hello guys and today we're going to be talking about index and match. These are essential formulas for you if you want to pass off yourself as an Excel advanced user. If you want to pretend that you actually know Excel at the topmost level, then you need to know how to use index and match. All right guys? Now, index and match is just a search formula, a search function that fills pretty much the same niche as VLOOKUP. However, VLOOKUP is for basic people. Um, it's going to be adequate for like 90% of the searches that you make, but there are some special instances where VLOOKUP is not good enough. And that's where index and match comes in. So if you know how to use index and match, you're going to have a leg up on everyone else in the office that is doing their lookups with VLOOKUPs, like some sort of primitive uh, person, all right? So guys, let's get started. How does index and match work? Well, index and match, are two different functions. It's index and match, all right? Now, the first thing that I want to do is introduce you to match. Match, what it does is I give it something to look up and it finds the position of that something within a list. So if I tell you, look up part one within this little column over here, match is going to tell me part one is in position number two. Why? Because I included the title. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, guys? And then uh, I'll delve into index later on, but match is pretty much what it does. So when I am doing index and match, I can do a search of this type where I don't know neither the column nor the row. If I try to do a search like this, say for example, I bought part one, seven of those, what is my discount? Well, if I did it by hand, I'd search part one, seven of those that falls within this category, I get 15% discount, all right? There's no way I can do that with VLOOKUP. There's no way I can do that by mixing VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. But when you do index and match, it goes out in a jiffy, all right? So you're going to have a lot of advantages over VLOOKUP. Now, index and match is a little bit longer to write. So let's get started. How does index and match work? Well, I have to find what row number my part is in, what column number the amount, the quantity is in, and then I'm going to combine my knowledge in order to get my 15% discount. All right, guys? So let's figure out what row, no row number is my part in? Well, that's what match is for. Remember, I'm going to type in match, open parenthesis, and then I'm going to head over here to FX, click here in, in insert function, and I'll, and I'll get the function helper. Notice that match has three arguments. The first one is this one called lookup value. Lookup value is going to be um, this one, or I'm sorry, this one, part one, all right? It's the item, it's the value that I'm starting with. I always run into trouble with my classroom students about this because they never understand what lookup value means. It's the thing that I'm starting with, all right? It's never what I'm looking for. It's what I'm starting with. So I'm starting with part one. Now, the lookup array, where am I looking for my part one? Well, in this entire column. I'm going to include titles right now. Later on, I'll explain to you why, but I'm going to include titles right now. And then the match type is going to be match type zero. That means it's going to be an exact match. However, this thing is typed, part one, is going to find it in the exact same manner, all right? Any extra spaces, any extra commas, any extra semicolons, whatever you care about it, uh, if we have an exact match, it's not going to find it, all right, guys? So right now, it's telling me that the answer is two. That means that part one is found in position number two, of this column right here. This is position one, this is position two, this is position three, and so on and so on. All right, guys, that gives me the row. Now, let's check out the column. I'm going to do another match. So, match, open up my function helper, and let's get to it. What is the lookup value? Well, it's seven. That's what I'm looking for right now. This is what I'm starting with. Now, the lookup array is going to be this one right over here. All right, guys? And um, notice how it's telling me that even though it's not going to find seven exactly right here, if I try an exact match type with zero, it's going to tell me that it doesn't find anything. But if I try an exact match type with one, then it's going to position seven right here. All right, guys, right here. That means that it's going to find it, um, it's actually going to place it in the column that has the, uh, it's going to find the closest lower bound uh, possible. What do I mean by that? Uh, what I always explain to my classroom students is, one, is it larger than seven? No. Five, is it larger than seven? No. 25, is it larger than seven? Yes. Then whenever we actually find something that is larger than seven, then just go back one, one column. And this is the one that gives the result. So it's telling me that seven is going to be found in column three. Why? 
this is column one, this is column two, and this is column three. All right, I'm going to press OK here, and I'm going to get that part number one is in row number two, this one, and uh, the number seven is in column number three, this one. They intersect at 15%. So that's what my final function should give me. All right, guys, we're done with the matches. Now let me introduce you to index. Index, I'm going to give it um, an array. I'm going to give index an array, and I'm going to tell it, give me the value that's in the, at the intersection of um, row number two within the array and column number three. All right, and that's what index is going to calculate. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to type in equals index, open parenthesis, and I'll go over here to fx. So it's going to ask me what kind of index do you want, all right? I'm going to ignore for now the second one. In fact, I'm not going to cover it within this video. And I'm going to press OK here. All right, so we have the array, guys. The array, I'm sorry, we have the function arguments. It's asking us for the array. So the array where I'm performing the search is this one right here, all right? The row number is going to be whatever my match for row throughout. And my column number is going to be whatever my match for column throughout. All right. And then I'm going to press OK. And voila, I have my 15% right here. All right, guys. So right now I have performed an index and match doing it by parts. Notice again how I actually managed to find the column number, I'm sorry, the row number, the column number, and then the actual percentage. If you want to do these types of searches that are both vertical and horizontal at the same time, you have to use index and match. There's no way you can get this to work using, using a VLOOKUP. Well, there probably is, but you're going to, it's more trouble than it's worth. So it's better that you actually understand index and match and get it to worth, work. Now, guys, stuff that we covered that we glossed over, um, it's the approximate match. Approximate match, remember, requires you to have um, of course, you have the data in ascending order, always in ascending order, and it's going to find the next largest one, and then go back, uh, go back one column. All right, guys, that's would that be approximate match? And uh, another part is right here. If you'll notice, we did this little, this big square that has like all the moving parts lined up for you, and we have the little check marks to make sure that we're right. But in real life, you're not going to be doing this. You're going to be combining combining index and match in the same formula. That's why I'm going over to the next tab and I'm going to get you to work here, all right? I'm going to get you to work here. So guys, let's talk about index and match in a combined fo form. Right now here, I'm trying to figure out what the description is for this particular problem, goggles number five, all right, guys? So um, I know from here that goggles number five is in this row and the description is in this column. And goggles number five, well, they're, they're worth $700. And uh, the only thing that they have going for them is that they're plated goggles. I wouldn't pay 700 bucks for that, but whatever. I mean, it's just an example. So let's go over here where it says description and try to figure out what it is that we need to do. All right, guys, I'm going to do the index and match all in one cell. So try to keep up because this is going to be a little bit complicated if you are just getting out of the function helper uh, routine. All right, so the first thing that I need to do is type in my index, all right? So my index is going to ask me what array am I looking for? Well, it's this one right here. Remember, I always tell my, to my students to include titles, all right? That avoids a lot of confusion. Always includes the, include, include titles in the array. Once you are an advanced Excel user and you understand what you're doing, you can skip the titles, but right now, just include the titles and don't worry about it. All right, guys, so that's the array we're looking for. Now, what's the row number that we want? Well, I need to figure that out. The row number is whatever goggles number five are living, all right? But I'm not going to count that by hand. I'm going to call my trusty friend match to figure that out. So match. My lookup value is going to be my goggles right here. My lookup array is going to be the entire column, including the titles. And my match type is going to be exact, zero, all right? And then I close parentheses. I'm, I'm done with this match for the row. Now I'm going to press comma and it's going to ask me, what's the column number? Well, I need the column for the description. I know from a glance that it's number three, but I want you to understand how to get the match working um, as well on the column. So it's just going to be a, an issue of creating another match. Match where the lookup value is going to be description. The lookup array is going to be this row right here, including tiles and match type is going to be exact. I close parenthesis for the match and I close parenthesis again for the index, all right guys? And then I press enter. 
And notice how I get my description, plated goggles. If I were to change my goggle type, say for example, now I wanted goggles 8. Well, I'll get the description, goggles 8, eight have wipers. I've never seen that in real life, but whatever, all right? So guys, um, basically what I'm doing right here, basically what I'm doing right here is I am getting to know, uh, well, I'm look, telling it to search within this array for a certain row number and a certain column number and give me the result of where they intersect, all right, guys? So that's what index and match does. And again, if you try to do this with VLOOKUP, and each look up, you'd run into a world of trouble. The best part about it is if I notice how if I change the description here to price, it's going to give me the price for the goggles. All right. Now the auto correct thing is not was not expecting that, so that's why it's giving me a, an X. But don't you worry about it. All right, guys. So index and match is very versatile and very adaptable, and has a bunch of benefits over um, over VLOOKUP. One of the main benefits of a VLOOKUP is that the order doesn't matter. VLOOKUP always has to have um, always has to have the item that you're looking for in the first column of your array. Whereas index and match, it doesn't care. It doesn't give a F. All right. So guys, um, let's check it out here. I have right here um, my subject and my grade, and uh, I want to figure out what is the the subject with the highest grade. All right. So from here, I can see that this isn't a, a straight A student guy. The highest mark that he got was a 78 in physics and uh, he had a 16 in, and 18 in music. All right, this guy really doesn't care at all about school, but he got a 78 in physics. So that's the one that I want to return. So the first thing that I have to figure out is what is the largest grade, the highest grade. For that, I don't need an index and match. I just need a max formula. All right, so equals max this right here, all right? And there we go. Now I need to figure out what is the subject of the highest grade. And it's going to be, well, whatever index and match returns to me. Now this is going to be a partial in the index and match. I'm going to try, check it out, I'm going to do an abbreviated version of index and match. I'm going to select just this as the array, all right? Just the subject as the array because that's where the, my result is. Now the row number is whatever we find, 78. So I'm going to tell it, go match this grade in the grade array, all right? Now, whenever I tell my classroom students this, they'll, their poor little heads explode. Uh, so make sure that you understand this. I am searching for a subject in the subject's uh, column, but I'm trying to figure out the position of the grade in the grades column, all right? They don't have to talk to each other because it's going to tell me, all right, the position of the highest grade is one, two, three, four. It's in line number four. And then it's going to go over to a subject column and it's going to count one, two, three, four. The subject is physics. That's why they don't have to talk to each other. All right, match type is going to be exact, zero, and then I'm going to close parenthesis. Now, notice that it's going to ask me for column number, but notice how it's between brackets. So we don't need the column number at all. All right, I can just close the parentheses right here and uh, I'll get my, my result. And it's going to tell me that the grade with, I mean, the subject with the highest grade is physics. Now, I don't know what this one was expecting right here. I'm just going to delete it. But notice how, again, physics is the grade with the highest, the subject with the highest grade. And um, we, we got it to work using a partial index and match because I'm just matching row numbers. I only have one column. I don't need to figure out what the column, what the column number is. All right, guys. Well, that's it for an introduction to, to index and match. I mean, it's a really powerful formula. You, you're going to use it a lot once you actually know it exists. And um, make sure that you, you always wonder whether VLOOKUP is the best answer to your searching needs or if index and match can do a better job, all right? A lot of the times when you're stuck with VLOOKUP, index and match is going to come over to a rescue. All right, guys, make sure that if you like the video, uh, you like and subscribe and comment. It's really going to help me out a lot. And um, I'll see you later for more videos.